Okay, guys, I brought you here tonight so that we can do something we've been talking about doing for a very, very long time. We are gonna travel out into the middle of nowhere, Texas, and hunt ghosts. Question, Jeff. How do we hunt said ghosts? Great question, Michael. Thank you. Everybody knows ghosts feed off of fear. So we're gonna do everything in our power to make everybody here as scared as humanly possible. Heads up, no point in this am I actually going to be afraid of anything. I'm talking isolation, darkness. Commitment. Commitment, mm. whatever it takes. Okay, Jack, since you've got the glasses, you're a researcher. What do you got for us? Let me tell you about the ghost of the Yorktown Memorial Hospital. This place was built to help heal uh, the sick. No, no, no. We're not doing that. We're not doing okay. okay. The, the hospital was built to take care of the sick. And unfortunately, like most hospitals, thousands of people died there over the years. Typically, the dead move on from those sterile hospital beds. That's not the case with Yorktown Memorial. After this hospital was abandoned, the spirits of those who died here lingered and so did the spirits of those who couldn't save them. Yorktown Memorial once employed a man named Dr. Leon. He held the oldest medical license in the state of Texas. Dr. Leon practiced medicine for over 50 years, even into his 90s, but he was known for making mistakes. One time, during a routine thyroid procedure, one patient paid the ultimate price. Poor guy bled out under the blade of Dr. Leon's scalpel. That's not something you want to be known as if you're a doctor. Uh, Dr. Oopsie Daisy! Hey, who says not to run with knives? It's said that the ghost of Dr. Leon can be seen hanging around the doctor's lounge in the operating rooms. So stay away from those areas and don't get trapped. Let me tell you exactly how that's gonna go. Hey, you kids! Wham! One shot, he's on the ground. <laughs> There's another ghost that lingers within, and you might want to take a gentler approach with this one. You see, if you're brave enough, you'll find Stacy, an eight-year-old patient at Yorktown who, under the hospital's care, died there. People say the basement is where Stacy comes to play. Maybe someone will roll her a ball. Or maybe read her favorite story, The Precious Little Puppy. So, is she like a zombie? She's eight, she should be able to read her book herself. Unless she collapsed when she was three, stayed in a coma for five years and then died. Can you imagine being in a coma for five years like no. Stacy was, and all people would do would read that stupid book, but after five years, saggy baggy elephant, anything, please, little train that could, anything other than the precious little puppy. Jeremy, yeah. can you ask her, what did she die from? With your fist. Well, then, ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can we just have an intervention? Jeremy, you can't punch a ghost. Yeah, you yeah, can't can do that. Can I have that. an intervention? Shut the fuck up. That's fine. fair. <laughs> and finally, we come to the most violent practitioners of Yorktown Memorial. Imagine it's 1951, and you find yourself in sleepy Yorktown, Texas. You go to the newly opened hospital, but instead of a nurse with a white nursing cap, you're taken care of by a nun and a veil and a quaff. They still appear throughout the premises, and they insist that visitors follow their rules. After all, this was, is, their hospital. So what rules are we talking about here? It seems the Sisters of Yorktown Memorial, they don't take too kindly to young women who aren't as pious as they are. Hmm. Oh, and one more thing, Jeff. The nuns hate anyone who desecrates their bodies with tattoos. Why would they hate tattoos? Is there any tattoos they'd be into? Like, God rules? Yeah. Jesus giving a thumbs up? Yeah. 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 yeah, perfect. All right, one more thing, one more thing. People have said that the nuns can get a little scratchy at times. Some even say they felt like they were being choked by hands that weren't there, unable to breathe the musty, sick air. All right, good job on the research, Jack. We've got psycho crazy, violent nuns. We've got Dr. Leon the unprofessional. Got a little eight-year-old book nerd. You guys ready? Yes. Lots of ghosts. Yeah.